Hello, Georgie Burns here. Welcome back to my card making. And today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, to make this card I've used the stamp sets Forever and Always. And I'm using the small flower. Love you forever. And I'm also using Forever Fern. And I'm just going to be using that small stamp set and the dots card base or cards I've got I'm going to move it out of the way I've got a blank card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eight scored at four and one eighth folded in half a piece of purple posy at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths a piece of white cardstock at three and three quarters by five and a half a piece of purple posy at two and three quarters by two and a quarter and a piece of paper post-it note the same two and three quarters by two and a quarter so let's I need to stamp on that little bit and I need to stamp on this move them to the side right with your post-it note you want to stick this in the middle of your card straight and the same distance either side let's see if that's straight just over a smidgen I think that's straight. No, it's going up a little bit. There. That's straight. So there we're protecting the middle of our card. Now I've got gorgeous grape ink. I've got some masks which I've already cut out and stamped. No use doing any more because I've got four here. And I've got my small flower stamp which I'm ink up and I'm going to stamp one in the corner that side like that and one in the corner this side. Turn it round. I'm going to do the same here, one in the corner and one in the corner there. You know it's the side ones, it's more on the paper. But that's alright. Uh, let's some wet wipes out to clean the stamp. So I've run out of um oh what was the name of that? cloth I used. Can't remember. Um, I'll keep that out for now. Right, let's mask our flowers up. I'm trying to remember the name of that cloth I use. But I can't. For the life of me it's gone out of my head. Right, now I'm going to use pear pizzazz for my leaves. Oh, I'll shut this. Open it again when I need it. Right, I've got pear pizzazz on my leaves. Now with the leaves, I'm going to put one there, and one there. Turn it round. Put one there and one there and then at the top here I'm going to put two so there'll be one coming out there same there turn it round one there and one there 
and that is that. Now with Daffodil Delight, we're just going to go around the outsides and put some yellow dots. Doesn't matter if it goes on the leaves, not worry about that. Supposed to be blossom anyway. I think that will do like that. Right, I'm going to leave them on for a minute and we're going to come to this. Right, with our square piece and our gorgeous grape. I've got a scrap of card. Right. I've got a small flower again and what I'm going to do is stamp off, stamp off and then stamp on a corner. I mean I could have got my uh, purple posy ink to do this which I just thought about. But never mind, do it this way. So there's one in each corner and then I'm going to put one in the middle, like that. Just to give a bit of background to that piece of card. Then with the word love and the gorgeous grape, in full strength, we're going to put that on there, near the top. And then we've got the word you, which we're going to place underneath that. Like that. And then we've got the word forever, right. The word forever has got the and sign at it, at the end. So you need to just ink up the forever I try not to get ink on the, I know there's a name for that sign but I forgot it. Right, and then we're going to stick forever down there and I think mine's up a bit. Oh no, that's alright. And that is that done. That was quite nice, wasn't it? With the stamping on the background, it just takes away the plainness. And that will sit on there, on dimensionals. So let's move all the coverings. And then that will sit obviously in there. And does that look nice? I didn't I should could have stamped that one up a little bit more, but never mind. We'll leave it there for now. Right, let's get this put together. Glue. I glue this to our purple posy mat. And then glue this on the card base.
I haven't done the inside of these cars because um, I don't know what they're going to be yet. They could be an anniversary card of Be Forever or there could be a birthday card for a mantic of a female. Not necessarily that way but one lover to another. But yeah, I didn't do nothing inside yet. I made this card last night because I knew I didn't have one. I didn't have no card. I haven't. This is Sunday the 20th, I think. So I've got no cards recorded for Christmas week. And I had none made yesterday, so I had to make two cards yesterday so that I could film the three th projects for Mon a week commencing Monday the 21st. Right, and we're going to place this. Oh, no, forgot. With a gorgeous grape. I'm just going to dip all around the edges in the gorgeous grape to sort of frame it. <coughs> That'll do nicely. Yeah. And this. I will place there. Close this up. And then all that's left to do is to stick some gems on it. So I put three gems here. And then we have it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cast, please subscribe. Um, and if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.